All right, welcome right. back to the Basement Movie Room. We're on to another Netflix show review this time. We've done Midnight Mass. We've done Haunting of Hill House. And this time we're moving over to a series that's coming back on December 17th, which we're super excited for, The Witcher. So The Witcher is a very famous book series written by a Polish author, right? Polish? He's yeah. Polish? Yeah. And a very famous game series. The show on Netflix is based more from the books than it is the games, although it does have a couple of nods to the games as well. Follows Geralt, Ger no, it's Geralt, Geralt of Rivia, yes. the Witcher, the titular Witcher, on his adventures. And uh, Witchers are essentially like a um, class of, they call them mutants in the show, yeah. but basically, they take children and turn them into these supernatural somewhat beings to fight monsters. So the opening episode is in Blaviken, right? Yes. Blaviken, yes. Yeah. Where the Witcher is a pro... He, he kills a monster in the opening episode, and he goes to Blaviken to sell the monster. He's taken to a wizard that is living he's, in a tower. In he's the, the only one that will buy it. Yeah, he's the only one that will buy it. For... And, yeah, a favor. What's the Sorry. wizard's name? I can't remember his oh, name. Oh, God. Yeah. He's an um, older... Uh, yeah. Damn it. I, I knew his name. I just watched... a lot of... Lot of eight yeah. episodes. A lot of Eastern European... Yeah. Games. So, the, the wizard essentially says he wants Geralt to kill this girl who was born under an eclipse that he believes will be the end of the yes. world, or at least the end of him. So, Geralt has already met this individual, but he ends up not really wanting to do it, but he does kill it, and becomes known as the Butcher of Blaviken. Now, the interesting thing is that you slowly, throughout the season, get the, get, get the information that you're following three different timelines. You're following Geralt's timeline, Yennefer, who is a, uh, a wizard in training, a sorceress in training, sorceress. I guess, and you're also following uh, Cyrilla, who is a princess of Sintra. Yes. So you're following three different timelines. You don't exactly figure out where those timelines are. Yennefer's timeline is first, ultimately. Geralt's is second, and Cyrilla is the most is is the current timeline. It's kind of interesting how they do that because they don't make it apparent. And a lot of people kind of I read online a lot of people didn't like that that they didn't make it apparent. But I, I enjoyed it. I liked yeah. the way they did it. And, and like you, you don't like not understand that it's three different timelines because you see Yennefer being with people who are dead, like, dead already in other timelines, yeah. and, and Geralt goes to a wedding feast with in Centro where the queen is still alive and she's dead in other timelines. So you you get enough clues to yeah. make it clear and, that and things when it, aren't. Yeah, when it when it comes when you figure it out, you're like, oh man, this is great. I love how this is going. Yeah. 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 It Because it all ties in pretty well. It does. It all yeah. ties together. And I've heard that the second season is not going to be the same, which it makes sense that it wouldn't be the same. More linear. I think they need to be more linear because yeah. they've told the stories they need to tell. I mean, it, if they would have told them any differently, I think they would have had to be like three episodes with Yennefer, three episodes yeah. with Geralt, and two episodes with Ciri. You know, it wouldn't have made sense to do it that way. It, it made sense these ways. No, they 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 did it well. Yeah, start it, it worked out. Yeah, but you also have as the episodes go on. Some of the episodes are kind of like filler, but some of them kind of play into the main story. Episode four, I think, between the both of us, it's the best episode of the season. Yeah, it's it's where Geralt is in Sintra for a suitor feast for Princess Pavetta. Better. Who is Cyrilla's mother? So we're back in time at least like 13 years, something like yeah. that, from the main storyline where Cyrilla is running what running from from the destruction of Sintra. Which spoiler, sorry, spoiling. It's a show two years old at this point, so I'm okay to spoil it. So that episode is amazing. I mean, they're all great, but that episode is 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 the best episode of the series. You're you're introduced to. I would say that one kind of set the tone and kind of tied in a lot of loose ends with each storyline. Yeah, it, 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 it pulled it, everything yeah, together. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's the it mix. It's, it's the, the middle. It's one of the middle season. episodes. You got four and five so, that are middle yeah, episodes. That one was very crucial to. Yeah. yeah. You Every get you get a lot of a lot of story about yeah. about Cirilla's and mother that's going to happen. Cirilla's mother and father, yeah. and how the queen of Centra came to be married to the king of Skellige. Yeah. You know, and, and everything that's going to happen or has already happened by the episode, to be honest, because mm -hmm. the attack on Citra is before the episode, right? You, you get some of it before and you get no, another Cent one. Citra is after. Well, the one where Geralt is there yeah, is that's, after. That's but after. the first, or, I don't know, I can't keep up with yeah, it. No, but, the, yeah. yeah, the attack is afterwards. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, you know that the Queen of Centra she's going to die. So Cirilla is technically the queen of Sintra, but there's the law of surprise that comes up where Dooney is, is, wants to marry Pavetta. He's a hedge knight, essentially, uh, which they don't say that in the show, but hedge knight is basically a knight with no lands. So Dooney is a cursed knight, and he's a porcupine. He's kind of a... You know, I think it's the best makeup job in the show because you get that, like, that, what was that? The Sylvan? Sylvan or something at some mm -hmm. point? I think that is kind of terrible with yeah. the elves. I yeah. think his makeup's pretty it terrible. terrible. Yeah. yeah. So, Dooney looks great, though. Hedge and I think that's Hedgehog. Hedgehog, yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah. So, him and Pavetta have been in a relationship, and he asked for the hand of Pavetta, and then they realized that he had saved the king of Sintra before yeah. he died and asked for the law surprise. And the Law of Surprise is a big theme throughout this se throughout the season, yeah. because the Law of Surprise basically means I'm asking for when you return home, it's you will give me something that you do not know you have. Yeah. This so is, if, this is your favor to me. Yeah. If the king would have returned home and he had a million gold coins, he would owe that to Dooney. Yeah. But the king returned home and found out he had a daughter, so Dooney was entitled to that daughter, which means Dooney was a good bit older than his soon-to-be wife. Uh, and then at the end of the episode with Dooney, Dooney gives Geralt the law of surprise, not really the, realizing that Pavetta is pregnant. Yeah. And the 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 fuck <laughs> is just the best. Oh. It's so good. And, yeah. and Cavill, Henry Cavill in this role, it, it's perfection. It's perfect. Honestly, perfection. Yeah. So perfectly casted. He's fantastic. And the way the way he uh, uses his voice. Yeah. Is one of the things that that sticks out to me in this, because like I mean he didn't try to. Like Christian Bale's Batman was a little overplayed. Oh, right? oh it's over the top. Henry Cavill as Geralt is perfect tone. Yeah. For that character, he has this like. <sighs> His growl is fantastic. Well, His growl is terrific. You know, it's it's yeah. a it's a perfect growl. Yeah. It, within his voice, it, it, he does a he does a great. I think this is probably one of his best, if not the best, acting jobs you're, he's done. You're a bigger fan of Superman than I am. I don't. I mean, I think he's a good Superman, but I don't like the movies. He's really good in Mission Impossible, though. Yes. With that that famous mustache that <laughs> that just ruined Justice yeah. League. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> one the one thing that ruined Justice League. The one thing that ruined Justice League. <laughs> Justice League. Yeah. 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 But yeah, he's good. And, and the other really good episode I think in the season is the uh, the Striga episode. Yeah. Yeah, that's really good with Foltis and Triss and Yeah. Uh, Foltis, well, I really that's like one of the, that's one of the most, you know. That that was in the video game. It's a so good that, episode. That's a really good yeah. fun part in the video game as well. And yeah, it's actually pretty early on in the in the first book. I can believe that so, because because Geralt knows Triss for a long time, yeah, as well as Jennifer. Like the show doesn't really show that, but the show makes Geralt and Jennifer meet in uh, Rind in the show, but they had met long before that in the books. Right. And Triss had, I believe, Triss had met. Geralt and Yennefer long before that. Like, Triss and Yennefer were great friends in yeah. the books. But they meet for the first time at the Battle of Sodden Hill yeah, they in, take the, their, in the show. Yeah, they take their and they have to. liberties. They have to in the yeah. show. But yeah, I mean, the show are all the Striga episode and episode four with Dooney and Pavetta are the two standout episodes. Everything's good, mm -hmm. but those two episodes stand out to really kind of show the, for one, show the abilities of the Witcher and kind of 
introduce you to how the world works in The Witcher. And uh, I, like I've spoiled myself on the Dooney Pavetta stuff and how that. And granted, it doesn't have to go that way in the show how it might play out ultimately. So, and I'm, I'm not going to do that here because that's big time spoilers and you don't even know that. Yeah. Don't read the, don't read the Witcher wiki if you want to know more. Right. Like Vilgeforts and all of them have much bigger roles in the books than they do in the show so far. So you're going to get more. And Vilgeforts, honestly, in the Battle of Sodden Hill, that's a great episode too. Uh, they're all really good, but, but those three episodes, Dewey and Pavetta, the Striga, and the Battle of Sodden Hill really stand out. I mean, they really threw the money in episodes they're oh, fantastic yeah. yeah so a lot more good stuff to come though yeah i'm sure there is i can't wait for season two in about a month can't wait it's gonna be great yeah. we'll probably be doing some reviews if we can of episodes of that because we're definitely yeah. watching it yeah <laughs> no doubt yeah but, yeah i mean i'm not gonna give away much more i think you just need to watch the witcher i mean it's a fantastic show it's it's absolutely terrific everybody's cast very well people had a lot of problems with the casting of tris i think it's really the only casting but she's great in it it's fine i don't know who i can't remember her name the actress but she's no. terrific in it she doesn't look like tris from the video games and that's everybody's problem so but all the casting yennefer she's Amazing, the actress they had to catch yeah. Jennifer and Cavill. We already talked about just terrific. Every cast, every, is yeah, good. across the board. Yeah, everybody's good. I like I like the guy who plays Foltus too. Even though he's only in the show for that one episode, and then yes, he shows up at Sodden Hill yes, right after about after Jennifer destroys everyone. Oh yeah, yeah. He shows up at the very end there. And Yaskier is yeah. just oh Yaskier. His song is just toss the coin to you, Witcher. Oh, Valley of Plenty. It's amazing. I, I'm doing a poor yeah. job. But that episode, that, that, that's another episode. That, 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 <laughs> I don't remember the rest of the song. No, that was, uh, that was four. That was episode four. Well, no, the, I'm talking about the Jen episode. The one where oh. he meets Jennifer and Rind. That was five. That's five. Yeah, yeah that's the episode right after. It's really good, yeah, too. That's a good one. They're, they're all good. I, I, but four is by far the best, in my opinion. But, I mean, that's like saying, like, this is the best piece of gold in the stack of yeah. gold, you know? It's like, they're all great. Yeah. I mean, one starts it off. Two, three. Two's okay. Three, four. Four is where it takes off. Like, I think two and three are really character building. Yeah, and, and it makes sense. You have to do You have to. Yeah. Uh, you know, they really delve into Yennefer. Yeah, and Yennefer's stuff is slower, yeah. to be honest, but it's really interesting. Like, the whole yeah. part where, like, Tissaia, which Tissaia's character is completely different from the, book, from the books from what I read. Tissaia's, like, this super nice yeah. mage in the books, and then the show, she's kind of a... Yeah. She's kind of a bitch. Yeah, they, they, they took certain liberties with yeah. certain... I think it made sense. Even though. the queen, they took liberties. Yeah. Oh, I love the queen of Sentra, though. Yeah. Totally uh, different. I love the lioness yeah. of Sentra. She's amazing. And and her husband. I think the, she's better on Skelly. the show. Oh, I'm sure she is. Played by, uh, played by one of the Monroe sisters from Last of the Mohicans. Oh, my God. Yeah, she's the other oh one. She's not, she's not Madeline Stowe. She's the other sister. The other one. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was one. like, hey, this, this lady looks she's so that, familiar. She's the one that jumps, jumps off the cliff after, oh after uh, what's his name? Did uh, not after yeah. her. The brother dies. Yeah, that's the movie. It's great. Michael Mann. One of the best scores of all time. It's real good. It's real if not good. the best score of all time. Yeah. All right. So yeah. let's let's go to rating before we run out yeah. of time. Score. Here. Score was great too. Yeah. Score and which yeah. was terrific. I don't even know who did it to be honest. Though. But it's, but, uh, it's really good. A lot of similarities to uh, Doom with the. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do it again. A lot of that. Do it on. again. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, Witcher Season 1, fantastic season, really good start to a show, yeah. really, really entertaining. Even if you haven't played the games or read the books, it's really good, because I haven't done either. I couldn't get into the games, but I really like the show. Do the audio books, they're great. I'm going to do those. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Alright, so rating-wise, out... The audio books with pictures. Yeah, you're, you're doing the ones with pictures. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah they're you're doing it. See, I would do it in my car, so I wouldn't get pictures. But, yeah. 
All right, so rating. I am. I will go first, and I am going to rate this a, a four and a half. It would be a five, but there are some episodes that yeah that aren't perfect. Beginning. It, it's the beginning. Up, yeah. It's a great start. Four and a half stars. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that too. Yeah. yeah no, we're all we, all agreeing tonight. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Four and a half. Yeah, I'd be pretty close to a five if it wasn't for. I mean, you got to build those characters up. Yeah, for sure. Here's to hoping the the second season and is there's five. A little bit, I think there's a little bit of the first books and other books included in that first season. So which makes season, sense. Second season, I saw in the trailers that they included a lot from the first books. So they're kind of they're kind of combined. Yeah, it, that, that makes well sense. So uh, Game of Thrones did similar yeah. stuff too. So. Which let's hope keep Witcher every, stays on the right the path and doesn't go Game of Thrones. Yeah. But all the books are out on that. Keeps one, the so. audience on their feet. Yeah. Or on their toes. Yeah. Um, which yeah, I don't want to read read the books and know exactly what's going on in the show. I like when they take certain liberties. That's good. Yeah, they and have this to. is and they're doing a great job of it so far. So yeah. yeah. All right. Anything else? No. All right. Thanks for watching Basement Movie and watch The Witcher. Yes. Later. Come back for the prequel of uh, Game of Thrones. True calamity upon us all. I'll take that chance.